Greetings in the love and in the light. I am Robert, your humble host. Welcome to the Law of One, Conscious Channeling LL Research. Today's meditation meeting occurred August 29th, 1976. I haven't even read it. We're just going to jump right into it. How exciting. I am Hatan. I am with this instrument, and I greet each of you again in the love and the light. As we say to you, my friends, that each of you needs to be a source of light to those around you. You must understand that we are encouraging you not as your physical selves to draw upon your resources within the illusion, we are encouraging you as spiritual beings to open the channel between your finite self and the higher self which created you, love itself. No finite entity, neither yourselves nor we, your brothers or sisters, can love nor can we call upon our resources to show love or understanding. For these are symptoms, shall we say, are much like your physical movements on the physical plane. If you think and concentrate upon your movements in attempting to perform complex tasks, it is almost certain that you will stumble in what you need to do. For in your very thinking you will have limited the instincts of your physical being. You have circumvented the harmony which surrounds the physical plane if it is left to its own wisdom. And the result will be that you are not coordinated, for your intellect will have borne all the limitations of this illusion and upset the harmony. It is also true in the purely mental sphere. If you attempt too hard to organize and concentrate and analyze your thoughts, they will disintegrate into splinters which have very little meaning and which cannot be put back together into an integrated and harmonious whole. It is very difficult sometimes to make decisions because you are thinking too hard most especially on the spiritual plane if you attempt to draw love from your own being you will almost immediately run into very deep trouble as you manifest upon the physical plane your very consciousness is a consciousness made of limitations. You see that your fingers end at the tip of your fingernails. You do not see that you are one with the air that surrounds them. From the very beginning, you were taught that the thoughts which originate in your mind have been created only by you. You were not taught that thought comes from a beautiful, infinite mind, and that the thoughts that pass through you, already heavily, heavily diluted, are shades of that perfect thought. Now, my friends, to show love is simply to act as a kind of open channel through which those healing waters of love can flow through you, not from you, through you to all that you touch, and how to come in contact with the spring of those waters of love. It is for the reason of coming in contact with love that we so often urge you, my friends, to meditate. As we have said many times before, the Creator is everywhere that you may go. If you go down to the doors of what you call hell, the Creator is there. There is no thing that you can do which the Creator is not your companion while doing. 
You cannot close your eyes or your fingers or your minds and rid yourself of the Creator. Love is within you and all about you. If you do not recognize it, yet it is still there. It has been said in your holy works, the light shined in the darkness, but the darkness comprehended it not. Yet, my friends, if you become still, and if you open your inner eye in the darkness, it is absolutely inevitable that you will see that light and feel that love. May we say to some of you here, it is not at all important that you have any belief or faith. This means less than nothing. Know you only that as the sun shines from heaven, there is a power in the universe that gives life. No matter how much death that you may see, you see many, many times over the life that is growing, triumphant always. Light and life will always triumph. They are always there. You do not need to be faithful or believing. You need only be quiet and listen. Do not expect to hear words or voices, for most do not. Yet take these periods of silence on a daily basis and evaluate your life after having meditated for, shall we say, a period of two of your months. It will begin to be apparent to you that the listening is producing within your being something that you are hearing, something that is making your day-to-day -day existence more loving. We ask that you imagine yourself standing in a field of flowers, with the light shining down upon you, the birds singing, the beautiful fragrance of the flowers all about you. You stand in the love of the Creator, my friends, and if you open the windows of your spirit, my friends, you offer the beacon of that light to all that you meet. It may not be in very dramatic ways, my friends, that you show this. It may be in a tiny little thing. Yet in this, shall we say, schoolhouse that you call planet Earth, it is understanding the love that resides in everything, we do, that is, the great lesson. Love is not anywhere else. Love is here. In whatever situation you are, in whomever you meet, in all emotions and in all circumstances, see the love, my friends. See the creative power. See the healing. Meditate and then open those eyes. There is great joy upon the path of all of you, and it is very close, always. If at any time you need the assistance of the force of spiritual love that we represent, call upon us and we will be with you, for we hear at any time that you may call. It is our nature to hear, not as a single person, but as millions of ears, for to us there is no space and no time, and we are here for the specific purpose of giving you our love. I leave you now in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I am known to you as Hatan. Adone, my friends. Adone Vasu Baragas.